Hey, we're out with another really cool vintage racer. This is a really cool, amazing looking bike. Uh, it's a 1969 Hodaka Super Rat 100 and, and it's been customized. I mean, when I say customized, it's not just been restored, it's beyond restoring. It's been made better for racing and for riding than it was in 1969. Now there's something else that's really cool in 1969. I, I was born. Oh. All right, come on I over here. Graduated come from on. High school. <laughs> so that's how much older we are. Seventy years old. <laughs> so we're like uh, nineteen years and apart. In '69, I was in Europe racing for CZ. Oh, that's right. He was racing for CZ in 1969. Come on over here, Jim. So, so Jim, for a couple questions. First of all, uh, you mentioned that you built this with uh, Dave Miller. Yeah, Dave. T tell us a little bit about that. Okay, Dave Miller built the bike originally to uh, race in uh, the Elsinore GP. And then he didn't race it after that, and I ended up purchasing it from them, uh, from him, to race in the Marty Tripe series. Oh. Uh, the yeah, the, the, the dual, Marty Tripe, the, the dual shock ones. Yeah, the 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 uh, Marty Tripes was broke down into two. The Revenge series was broke down into two uh, classes: Works Revenge, and then Revenge, and then so 100 twin shocks, and then YZ 100s were mostly the rest of 82s uh, were two separate. Uh, classes. Okay, so you've obviously done a ton of stuff. Tell us some of the, you know, I see that the seat you, the seat, the panel, trim. the seat's been uh, removed and then narrowed. Very cool. The tank, the center of the tank's been cut out and narrowed. And you can't even down. tell. Can't even tell. And if tell. you go on Facebook, you can see my pictures of narrowing them. Oh. I do other tanks for people. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, and then the 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 it's a custom, um, of course, engine. The 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 original engine didn't have a uh, reed, cage. reed cage, and the uh, when Dave built them, he, we had five of these um, heads done at a foundry, uh, custom heads. People think it's a Webco, but it's not. It's actually a Webco cylinder and a custom handmade head. Okay. And then, of course, they're re cc'd to uh, have the correct uh, amount of, uh, of a, a capacity in the dome. Everything is yeah, handmade. It is a, the, clutches, the clutch originally was about five pounds, and now it's about three so because we took plates out of it and it's been all hogged out the, custom the pool feels amazing you got yeah. modern modern levers modern. up here electronic pvl ignition oh, uh, nice. so that you can raise uh, when this bike came out originally from the factory um at at a, if we bought it off the showroom floor for him at about 6200 rpm they made about 12 horsepower this one at 10,000 uh, makes almost 20. Oh, that that's great. How much was this bike brand new? Brand, you brand, remember what they were back then? Brand new, you could walk out the door with them for about $400. $400. Now, and race, put gas in it and go be competitive any place. Now, what 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 do you think you have into this thing? I don't think you could buy it for 25 grand or 30. I mean, I don't you couldn't replace it. No, it looks yeah, all, it looks everything's all the, custom. All the parts on the transmission are color case hardened and handmade. Um, there aren't because there are none to buy. And and I noticed you you mentioned the frame has actually been the stretched frame, taller. The frame is stretched, yeah. And then you can see this a full floating brake. Everything on this handmade, oh, yeah. hogged out, so that it's it floats. Uh, works performance shocks. Um, it just goes on. You know, Cherry Cherry forks that are custom um, uh, valved inside, so they, they work differently than the stock Cherry And Akron rims. Uh, the swing arm is lengthened. Well, handmade, and instead of bushings, the swing arm has bearings or needle bearings on it, like, like so, it should have. Yeah. yeah, like it should have. Yeah, in the old days. And then we put gusset. The gussets are put in. They put this gusset in because of the stretch in the frame that it couldn't take it. So they we regusseted it. Everything, everything on it is, you know, the all the bolts are recessed for uh, weight. Yeah, it, it just it just looks incredible. Now, now you ride. What's nice about this thing is you're actually riding it. You're not yeah. just, you know, this no, isn't just some sitting in the garage. No. no. Um, and, 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 you know, it's, it, it isn't, I must admit, it's not for the average guy. For the average guy that gets on a brand new KTM and rides it, it's, that's wonderful. But this is, you have to, you have to work to ride it. I mean, what I mean by work is not just that it only has four inches of travel, but the, it is, it is so, um, uh, go, not goofy, uh, what's the word I'm searching for? Touchy yeah. to the slightest thing. You know, you have to work on it constantly and make it run. I mean, it's not the average guy wouldn't enjoy it because he couldn't kickstart it and go out and ride it. You have to work on it constantly. Yeah. So when you get back today after riding this thing, how much time will you spend washing it and then reprepping it and going over it all? The engine comes out every time I ride it. <laughs> there you go. Every every single part. <laughs>
<laughs> so yeah. Goes through and just that you he's really taking and, care of this thing and afterwards. Then, and then now um, uh, 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 Hodaka Dave in um, uh, Missouri is now making these custom pegs for them. Yeah. And so this is my first time on. I'm, he sent them to they, sent a set to me to try out. You can see how the old pegs were. Yes. They're little tiny things, and now he's making these pegs. Th these look great. So. Um, uh, I'm trying those th this time. For the, everything on it is is handmade. It, everything. It, it looks great. Now, uh, what do you have? Any other vintage bikes that oh, you yeah. play with? I have just tons of them. <laughs> but like, how many? How bad is your addiction? Uh, it's terrible. <laughs> I don't. I, I had to stop drinking ten years ago, so this is my addiction. What happens? Is I got away from the sport, yeah. uh, and I didn't go back. Look back at the sport for forty years, um, and then I I, cause I test rode for Yamaha yeah. and got hurt real bad. And then I started racing. Um, I just decided I was going to restore a super app, like your, like your, um, is that your friend? My uncle. Your uncle did. Yeah. So instead of restoring them, I mean, I restored one, starting to look for parts. Somebody found me from California, Hodaka, said, wait a minute, you used to race for Hodaka. I originally raced for Hodaka in 66, 1966. And so here I am. He says, why don't you ride the Marty Tribe series? And then here we are. And so I have, a, I have a, if you go on Facebook, I have a bunch of different bikes. Um, this isn't really completely trick. I have a Super Rat, I mean, I have a 125 Super Combat that is one step beyond this. So he has one that's one step beyond this. Oh, yeah. So, so it, that, it would make this look like a Model T. That's gnarly. We'll put a link to his Facebook in the description so you guys can check out everything that he does. And An example of that one would be, uh, it came out with at about... 6800 rpm with a 14 or 17 horsepower this one has 3200 or i mean 32 horsepower at 14,000 rpm Whoa. so yeah so that ignition I, been... I ride it in all the arma nationals and things well hey thank you for your time this thing is gorgeous you so as you guys can see and it's it's rad that he's able to still ride this thing at and 70 enjoy years working old. <laughs> 70 years old and he enjoys working on it and riding it so hopefully you enjoy we'll check you out next time uh -huh.